Hey everyone, welcome to SuperCloud 5, the battle for AI supremacy. I'm your host, Lisa Martin, thrilled to be with you. Very pleased to welcome Robin Harwani to the program, the head of global telecom industry solutions for AWS. Robin, great to have you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for having me. So you've been a part of the core team that initiated the telecom business at AWS back in 2017. You helped hire a team, you helped mentor a team across specializations, across geographies. You are presently, as I mentioned, the head of industry solutions technology for the worldwide telecom vertical at AWS. Would love to get your perspectives on the evolution of this telecom BU and some of the important milestones that it's reached. Absolutely, thank you, Lisa. Yes, it's been it's been a journey for us. We started in 2017 um, uh, when when we were in the initial phases of of the business. A lot of our customers were already using AWS, but mostly for enterprise <laughs> workloads. As things evolved, we realized that you know a lot of our customers wanted to leverage AWS for not just the enterprise IT workloads, but for WSS, VSS the management workloads, the billing workloads, all the way into the more, more of the network uh, domain as well. So all the way from core and, and the radio access networks for 5G were important for them and they wanted to make sure they were able to leverage the power of cloud. While doing all of this, they also wanted to leverage the platform for uh, automation, orchestration, and a common software delivery uh, model that they could use for all of these uh, workloads. So it's been a journey. We've worked across our customers and partners uh, to, to build this uh, capability over the last few years. One of the big milestones that we had uh, along the way was when we launched our 5G uh, Edge solution in 2018 called Wavelength. Since then, we, we have also uh, launched a platform for our customers uh, called Outposts that allow for 5G networks to be virtualized at the edge. Uh, Dish was one of our biggest customers that announced that they were going to roll out the entire nationwide network, uh, leveraging AWS Cloud in 2021. Uh, since then, we have had multiple other customers in Europe, both brownfield customers like Swisscom and <clears throat> multiple customers leverage our platform for private mobile networks as well for industrial customers. So very exciting. And for this year, it's, it's even more exciting. So it's been a great journey uh, and I, it's a pleasure to be part of it. It has been a great journey. You talked about a number of customers' names. We'll talk about that in a second, but I want to talk about the partner angle because I understand that really making AWS the best place for its telecom partners has really been core, a founding tenant of the business unit from the beginning. Talk about some of the value add for AWS partners in the BU. That's a fantastic point. I think uh, AWS at the very heart of building the, the industry vertical for telecom was to make, make sure that AWS was the easiest place for partners to deploy the workloads. And the whole purpose was so that our customers could achieve their business outcomes faster at a pace that they wanted to uh, leverage at, at, at the cloud pace. In the addition to that, we wanted to make sure that the partner community that we built for industries was across not just the, the enterprise domain, but the OSS, BSS domain, the new emerging technologies domain for their customers to build offerings that they could, CSPs and telecom companies could offer to the end enterprises. And then finally, within the networks domain, so we have had the pleasure of working across all of these communities, partner communities, to create a very intentional focus to help our customers achieve and the, these outcomes uh, together. Walk us through some of the exciting things that are going to be coming out in terms of new offerings in telecom that AWS is going to be delivering. Yeah, at, at reInvent this year, super exciting. Uh, for the first time, we're going to have technology assets at the telecom lounge at the Venetian Expo, uh, which are uh, across the all of the domains that I mentioned, from the enterprise domain to the, the networks domain to the billing and the, uh, the network management domain, 
where we are going to showcase capability across generative AI, right? So all the way from using these models to increase the product life cycle velocity to going into developing uh, an intent-based orchestration framework, finally kind of helping the, the customers to understand their bills better uh, and, and having new experiences that they can, uh, uh, you know, uh, avail. Through, through the CSP partners of ours. That's something that we are going to be showcasing. The second big thing that we are doing is we, of course, have talk talks and sessions and, and all of the content that we have every year for the last seven years. But this year, for the first time, we are jumping in to architectures that we are production ready, and we're going to be showcasing that in TLC 302. And finally, another first that we have this year is we have a workshop where our customers, our builders across our community can come in and develop applications on top of Bedrock, on top of SageMaker Jumpstart for telecom customers, telecom applications that can be used to serve and solve these problems that our customers have been talking about uh, with us. So that's uh, super excited uh, about all of these things at reInvent this year. I'd love to kind of like even dig more, Robin, into the workshop. It sounds like it's going to be so exciting, so innovative, but you're allowing customers to get much more hands-on. Tell us about that and what some of the, the key challenges are that customers have that that workshop is going to show them. Guys, together, this is how we're going to tackle this. No, this is a great question. You know, one of the things that helps our customers is to experience the technology and builds uh, the starting point. It's, it's the first barrier to adoption of any new technology, as you know. And this workshop is tailor-made for to leverage uh, you know, our, our platform to solve for customer issues like fraud management, like uh, uh, revenue assurance uh, use cases. How do the customers use these to uh, implement in the workshop live with the community as well as help that they get in a guide and instruction to implement these use cases. Once implemented, they can take this away and, and work with our teams to put this into production in their environments. By the way, with the same workshop, we will be making it virtually available for all of our global community to come in and leverage uh, and build on top of, of Bedrock and SageMaker Jumpstart. So that's we are super excited about that as well. Well, giving the, the global community access to that, understanding what it means to them, the implications, the barriers it's going to help them solve, and, and getting them that access to kind of see it and feel it and touch it is, is huge. And that's kind of a different element for reInvent from what I understand. Is that right? It's been a tradition at reInvent to have these workshops, but this is the first time we are doing it as, uh, at this scale for the telecom industry, for generative AI uh, to achieve these outcomes. So yes, a first of a kind for sure, and, and uh, uh, very exciting, very exciting. Last time we did this was with, with Edge. We had this for building out a network, uh, 5G network, a private 5G network live, uh, which was uh, super uh, exciting as well. And now we're doing this in the generative AI space. It's a first of a kind, so we're, we're super excited about it. Uh, the gen AI space, white hot. Robin, I'm sure your team has been working fast and furiously for a very long time. So we so appreciate you carving out some time to kind of give us some of the insights and a sneak peek. Speaking of sneak peeks, with the pace of innovation in the telecom industry just continuing to accelerate, what are, as we round the corner of 2023 and head into 2024, what are some of the things that we might keep our eyes out for in the AWS ecosystem of telecom? A lot. I think the the over the seven years, uh, you know, we started with uh, our our infrastructure services. We went into the edge. We introduced uh, uh, machine learning for our customers to achieve the business outcomes that they wanted. We partnered with our some of the best telecommunication industry ISVs like Amdocs with Ericsson with Nokia. All of these to bring together the outcomes, the business outcomes that they wanted. And as we go forward. Uh, with with the integration of Bedrock and SageMaker Jumpstart into these business outcomes, I think it is going to be critical for the customers now to jump in, take the use cases that they want to solve, top of mind things that we are hearing, come back, work with us, leverage the attendee guide we have at reInvent and, and dive in. And then not drop the conversation there. I think it's important to follow through and make sure we go all the way to achieve the business outcome, the cost per bid, 
making sure we achieve the, the automation of the uh, network that we want and intent-based orchestration and the completely new experiences that they can offer to customers. Those would be my hopes that we could sneak peek and, and drive uh, after reInvent. I love that, Robin, to your point. Let's dive in and really dig through the customer business outcomes that AWS and its massive ecosystem of partners can help customers achieve. Because at the end of the day, it's all about those business outcomes. Robin, it's been such a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you for sharing your insights and your time. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. You've been watching SuperCloud 5, the battle for AI supremacy. I'm Lisa Martin. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.